Hello everyone. In today's video session, we shall be discussing integration of controlling with financial accounting. So in SAP S4 HANA, the integration has been very simplified because of the fact that now the cost elements are created at the time of creation of master data or GL creation through FS00. Uh, we'll directly go and uh, see our SAP Easy Access screen for more details. So now as the integration is very easy that uh, we uh, f the data is flow through to controlling at the time of uh, creating a journal entry. But for the integration, we need to keep in mind few important steps that can be done through backend configuration. So let's go to SPRO. We'll open our IMG reference screen. Under this, we have financial accounting. Financial accounting global setting. Then we have ledgers. And under this, there is an option called integration of controlling with financial accounting. So now there are few important steps we have for integration. So let's understand. You can also read it by clicking on this IMG activity document that will brief you for all the configuration and importance and why we are doing the settings. Now, as we know, the document types we have in financial accounting are by default or is a client level setting. So under controlling also these documents automatically comes in. So we have all these documents, uh, majorly they are related to financial accounting, but we have two major document types. These are the CC, secondary cost uh, cross company, and then we have CO, that is secondary cost, because these secondary costs are the cost or the elements that are only used while, uh, while we are doing entries in controlling, right? They do not have any financial impact. So if we see the settings like CO setting, then what we need to keep in mind is the number range, obviously. This we have discussed while doing our uh, document uh, type discussion under financial accounting. So the number range is very important. Now the number range information is what we can get from our company code. Now we already have intervals in it in case we didn't have the intervals, we could easily copy, copy it from here from the other company. Okay, this also we have discussed. Now, uh, what we can see is, is to see the number range that is 23. Because 23 was the number range uh, mentioned in our controlling document type. So we already have 23. See, we have 23. In case this 23 number range is not available in your company, you can add it from this option. Or you can simply change the number range. Or you can simply change number range here. You can allot it to 0, 1 or anything as per your wish, but we keep it uh, separated from our financial documents. That's why we do not change the number range, rather we create the number range. Okay, similarly, the document type that is relevant is secondary cost cross company component. Now this is also important. Again, the number range here is 23 usually Okay, it is open for CEO again. I am just deselecting it and selecting CC option. Okay, for CC, we have a default uh, number range as 24. So this uh, we need to see and it is for the intercompany. 
so uh, these are the two document types that are very important and as this is a client level setting it is automatically we have it in here now in case we want a new type of number range or your client require uh, there is a client requirement where you need to create these document types then we can create our own through this new entry and uh, specify the new unique document type that uh, this is an alphabet or numeric two digit number or alphabet then we can assign our number range, give a reverse document, then account types allowed for the secondary cost GL account. And similarly, we can create a new. So we are discussing this. Uh, the purpose of discuss, uh, discussing this is when the integration is needed and we want to create a new document type for postings and controlling. Right? So the next step is to define document type mapping variants for uh, CO business transactions. Now this is a mapping. Now if you want to create a, a custom dev, uh, document type, then you have to come have come here and uh, do the integration. But when the document types we have, the standard document types we use, we don't do the integration. Now here we have two type of uh, document mapping. One is they are giving standard one, but the other one is basically the default variant. Let's see what, what we have in standard. So we have all the controlling business transactions here and the document type is CO for both uh, cross company document type is also CO. So these are all the business transaction. Now here in case we need to customize it or as per our client requirement, there is any business transaction that is not included in the, into this, we can create it by adding a new entry. But the whole sole purpose of the discussion is that uh, they are they are predefined, they are integrated it into the system. So we cannot we are not adding up anything else. Now then we similarly we have this A triple zero as COFI real time integration for S innovations. Now in this also we have all the business transaction defined uh, priorly and uh, the document type as we discussed earlier co and cc for cross company document type has been assigned to it so again in case we want as per our client's requirement we want to add some new business transaction we can just do a new entry and add the transaction so this is the most important step where we define all the business transaction for our controlling. Now, after this, we need to check and define default value for postings in controlling. As we have document type and then we have mapped these document type to our business transaction. Now, what we need to do that... Um, to see uh, that same exist in our controlling area or not. So now we have our company codes here. We'll just find our company. So uh, our company doesn't exist. What we can do is to have a new entry. Give our company code. We'll just valid from 23 and we can assign a default ledger group here okay but just keep in mind no extension ledger to be assigned here you can assign non-leading ledger but cannot assign an extension ledger to it so then uh, we have document type mapping we can map a triple zero here and save it Uh, 
uh, we can see why we are uh, doing it why we are we are assigning a default ledger group because uh, some users when we want to restrict the users to enter their own ledger group uh, this this step comes into existence uh, so the purpose of this is to define default value for the use in controlling business uh, transaction for users who are not allowed to enter document type or ledger group for posting purposes we can just check it through or i'll just show it to you like kb double one n So enter manual repostings of primary cost. So in this case, what happens? Like uh, a, a user can enter document type and ledger group. But if we make it on default, or in some cases, uh, we do not, uh, these, uh, these types are hidden or these values are hidden, then we, uh, the need to, uh, the need to apply default value becomes urgent. Okay, so that's it. Now the last step in this integration part is define ledger for controlling version. So the versions we have already discussed, there is a zero version, one, two, three. Uh, now our company 1812 is automatically coming under this because because we have done the settings for controlling area. So at the time of creation of controlling area, we defined our version, assigned the ledger to it. So this setting, uh, so this part has automatically fetched from it. So we don't need to do any changes. In this part of the integration, simple, the version is being integrated and the ledger is assigned us. So the automatically all the financial accounting data will come to our controlling uh, through this configuration. So these are the major configuration uh, required for integration of controlling with financial accounting. Uh, hope you hope you find it fruitful. Thank you all for listening. Have a really good day.